first, I want to thank you for um, giving us the, the time to interview you <laughs> with your busy schedule. And um, just a couple of questions for you so that we don't look too long. What makes Jacuzzi stand out amongst other wineries and vineyards that are in not only Sonoma, but also as well as, you know, the Napa Valley? Tell us. Well, Jacuzzi opened in 2007, and it was in honor of Fred Klein's grandfather, Valeriano Jacuzzi, and he was an immigrant from Italy. And Fred lived down in Southern California, but would come up here to Oakley and um, stay with his grandfather and learn about the Italian varietals and making wine. So how does that make it different than maybe another family that started the winery back about the same time? Why would, in other words, why would somebody that doesn't know about Jacuzzi, what would attract them first here? Why would they want to come back? Well, we definitely have the Italian heritage, which is the hospitality. We are a complimentary tasting room for groups of six and under, and we, we welcome everybody. We treat them like family. Also offers the olive oil side of the business, or when that people come. That is a separate business from Chacuzzi. Okay, so so does that uh, the uh, the olive groves that were added to the vineyards in the Petaluma Gap? Do you is there any importance in that that you know about or? Um, it it's a it's a it's a nice partnership together. The wine and olive oil, um, olive oil being you know the antioxidants, everything that's good for your body. Um, Fred does have um, orchards that he does have the jacuzzi olive oil well, that he does manufacture and the uh, olive press manufactures that for him. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a nice partnership. People can come in. Again, you know, you have your, your designated drivers and they can go over and they can keep themselves busy with the olive oil and they have something to do. So, so again, hospitality. You, know, you try to make everybody feel welcome and a part of. I think that's a great idea, um, and, and I didn't think of it that way, um, where you have the wine side of it and the olive oil side of it, so that somebody is, as a quote-unquote designated driver, can sit there and, and stay occupied, like you said, and, and we've enjoyed that as well, uh, where one thing that we've done is we have an empty jacuzzi wine bottle, and we'll bring it back, and we'll fill it up with olive oh. oil and bring it home, and, and <laughs> heck, it, it, it beats going to Costco and buying yeah. olive oil, so yeah. I think that's yeah. really been... Fabulous. So what, what's the best jacuzzi wine for this season, would you say? For this season. As of right now, it's the Barbera. The Barbera. Mm -hmm. okay. Your position here with jacuzzi is? I'm, my title is Director of Hospitality. So I oversee the two tasting rooms, and I really make sure that everybody's feeling welcome. Okay. And has a good time. And what would you say, or I should say, what, what would you want to say to somebody that's reading the magazine, thinking of coming into the Sonoma area, they want to do a little wine tasting, they want to do a little wine tour, what have you, what would you want to say to somebody that is uh, watching this video that would draw them to Jacuzzi this year, before the end of the year, let's say it's a family or somebody's coming in before the end of the year, is there anything going on in Jacuzzi that they should be aware of, uh, why should they come here? For the experience. Come and enjoy our experience at the winery. Um, kids are welcome. We have water and juice for them. Um, they have a, we have a beautiful fountain out back. Um, sit outside, enjoy lunch, a little bit of wine. Um, discover the Italian varietals. Yeah. They go so nice with food. And just enjoy the experience here. Well, I can say that I agree with that because as my wife and I have come, we brought our children on occasion, and they uh, will wander around the grounds safely, mm -hmm. I might say. They're comfortable. There are things for them to see and do. They even go into the little olive area, and they kind of look around there. They do their thing, and they never seem bored. They feel very, very uh, at home here, mm -hmm. so I would agree with that. So, Well, thank you. Well, thank you very and much. And we really appreciate uh, the time with you, and... Uh, I know for us, we look forward to coming back. Thank you. Look forward to having you. <laughs>